Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to talk about manga and uh, most uh, notoriously the manga challenge that I've been doing for 2018 uh, brought uh, to you or suggested by uh, Fernando Tetsu of Niji TV. I did this tag also in uh, Portuguese but I've been doing the videos in English as well so I'm going to wrap it up also in English. So uh, the original uh, purpose of the challenge was to read one manga every week. I haven't been really following it very closely, but I have managed to get like mangas for each single um, category that uh, that has been listed. And I've been reading a little bit of those mangas. Some of them have been repeats. Some of them are just uh, things that I looked up. Anyways, these are the remaining that are missing. I already did two videos before. I'm going to link them on the description below. And yeah, that's it. Let's get into it. So category number 27 was a manga with a character with a disability. And for this one, I chose an old uh, favorite of everyone, Full Metal Alchemist. I had already seen the, the anime series slash movie over whatever it existed from Full Metal Alchemist. I actually didn't really like it. It was... The manga was very known, or at least the the, the the world Full Metal Alchemist is very known. So I looked it up mostly because it was considered one of the greatest. And, and I, was, I was a little bit disappointed. I was expecting it to go deeper, to go longer. It's quite short story and the movies and stories repeat the same story multiple times. Instead of actually giving up like uh, another season. So... Strange thing, I didn't particularly like it, but yeah, the main character doesn't have an arm. He lost it when he was a kid or something. I don't remember the exact storyline anymore. And he has this metal thingy that uh, uh, it's like a mix of steampunk with superpower kind of thing. Anyways, the world isn't bad, but I was expecting more from the overall storyline. That's why I didn't really like it much. Anyways, category number 28, a manga with a character that transforms itself, which is like pretty much all the mangas that exist. Well, not all, but great majority. Anyways, I picked a random one, and the one I randomly picked was Tokyo Ghoul. Um, I read a few stories, uh, a few mangas of it. I tried to watch the anime with Christina. We somehow failed to watch the anime. We watched like three episodes or two episodes or something, and then we kind of never picked it up again so i guess it wasn't that interesting um but yeah it's sort of okay i don't know i'm i i, I still been reading the manga but i haven't uh, picked it up in in a long while category number 29 a manga with relatives either a brother or sons or something like that i picked one piece mostly because i haven't picked i hadn't picked one piece yet on this uh, video and uh, i did want to choose one piece because i do actually read and follow one piece it's not just because it's uh, uh a very famous manga because i actually follow the storyline i'm Every few months I read up until the latest issue and then I wait a few months for some more numbers to come out and then read some more again. So so yeah, One Piece. Wanted to include it. It's included. My job is done. Uh, category number 30. A manga with a character with superpowers. Again, pretty much all mangas have that. But anyways, I picked one. It's Bleach. It's a manga that I actually read. Um, not read. I watched the anime series first. Uh, then when the anime series was taking too long to come out a new episode, I started reading the manga. I read it up all until the maximum and then I stopped. I was waiting for new chapters to come out and I haven't read it since. And this was like five years ago or something. So I want to pick it up again at some point, but I just haven't by some reason. I've just been busy with other stuff. So uh, I, will, I will eventually pick it up again. We'll see how, how things have evolved in the world, meanwhile. Category number 31, a manga with a non-human character. And for this one, I picked Helsing. It's an old anime. I never read, actually, the manga of this one. But the anime was really good, uh, so I can highly recommend it. had this very anti-heroic character. It's a hero, but it's a hero that is... Bad things are happening to him, and then... 
it seems that he's about to die or succumb or lose the battle and then this devil comes out that corrupts everything and it's extremely powerful and then saves the day and every time it it, it happens that again and again but it's a it, it's very interesting the 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 whole story how they use the clichés of manga of a character that seems to be facing a very impossible challenge and then suddenly unlocks the next level to overrise that they use that cliche but with demons and other stuff supernatural stuff so very 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 interesting read i have to recommend it um category number 32 it's a manga with gods or monsters or something like that i picked the promised neverland because i've been reading it i've been devouring it uh, it's really good. It's pretty much recent. It's still ongoing. Uh, the anime just came out. I saw the first episode today of it. It came out on Japan. It's only uh, subtitled so far in English, but uh, very good. Very good finding of the of the latest few months, and I can't recommend it enough. The Promised Neverland. Go check it out if you don't know it. Category number 33, we have a manga with a female main character. Uh, the Promised Neverland is pretty much female main character, but I picked Elfen Light for this one. It's an old favorite of mine, and I think it's rather short. There's only like one season, but it's really good. I really like, and there's a lot of cuteness meets extreme gore, uh, psychological horror. It's it's very interesting uh, Storyline, I really liked watching it at the time, so I have to recommend it, Elfen Light. Or Liet, I don't know what how you're supposed to say it. Um, next category is a manga with a LGBT theme. So something about gays, lesbians, transsexuals, whatever. I picked 10 count, I was looking up uh, these kind of mangas. Randomly picked 10 count for, I don't know what reason I, I i actually liked it i read it everything i read it till the end uh it's the story of two two boys in this case uh, one of them is a germophobe the other one is a psychologist of some sort that tries to heal him uh, in a very non-conventional way i guess you can call it that there's some well, there's some gay action going on uh, between them. A lot of uh, romance, drama as well happening. Um, and it's, it's interesting psychologically as well. Um, so, I don't know. It's it's It was different. It's not the kind of stuff that I read. So, this was a uh, different, different thing. And I'm all forward. Uh, I'm all for different things. So, that was good. Uh, category number 35... A manga with an action that takes place outside of Japan. For this one, I picked uh, Tokyo Girls Destruction. It's uh, placed on an island outside of Japan, so it counts outside of Japan. Um, it's very interesting. I only read like two, three issues of it. Uh, it seems like it's like a battle royale sort of format in an island where only one gets to live. It's not really about killing each other. But it's about oppressiveness, uh, different groups getting formed. Um, you have to survive in the island, pretty much. Um, and, and it's supposed to be like a boarding school of some sort. So I, I don't know what's going on. I have to read a few more chapters to try to get a, a grip on the actual storyline. But I liked the little things that I liked, that I read, I liked. So I can recommend it. Tokyo Girls Destruction, go check it out. Um, category number 36, a manga that uh, we would have more than a year ago. I picked Saturn Apartments. I already read it all. Very cute uh, drawing style. I like the comparisons between uh, open, open world, open space, um, and the cute small characters. And the whole storyline is very, very endearing. So I have to highly recommend uh, Saturn Apartments. Uh, next category is a manga that's older than you are. And I picked Astro Boy for this one. I actually haven't read it. I do have number one in the library behind me. But I haven't picked it up yet. I only know the character. But I know everyone already knows the character. I haven't actually read the story. But I will pick it up eventually. Uh, clearly, I haven't done it for the proper manga challenge. But, uh, well, 
it is what it is. Manga or challenge number 38, a manga that was made by two authors. Eh, pretty much all mangas are written by two authors. Uh, I picked a random one, The Legend of Zelda. They say it's a good uh, manga adaptation of the classical story, so maybe it's good. I don't know. I only read like the first chapter and I didn't have time to pick up the rest, so it is what it is. Uh, challenge number 39, a manga made, uh, a manga with only one word on the title, I picked Freezing, I've been following this manga for a long time now, it's about these girls that fight demons, so it's a bit like Claymore, but slightly different, um, but, well, the difference between Claymore and these girls is that these girls, for one, are more high-tech, and for second, they have bigger boobs, and then there's some, uh, drama drama slash comedy uh, mixed into it as well uh, which is which can be interesting as well so so I, I mostly liked it I, and I've been following it I have it on on my on my two checklists so every few months I go check a few more uh, released episodes of freezing so yeah freezing category number 40 a manga with a color in its title. Uh, any color I was searching for a few and I found a black torch it's a manga that was made it was released actually in 2018 originally story of a boy that uh, has some uh, shinobi training and somehow manages to talk with animals uh, unlike uh, any other uh, human and he meets this strange characters uh, and I don't want to spoil the rest, so I will just leave it at that. It's a, it was quite. I was pleasantly surprised by by the storyline. I, I think I will keep reading it uh, a little bit more, um, not just reading it for the sake of the challenge. I will actually keep reading it. Challenge number forty-one: a manga of your favorite author. Uh, I picked Bakuman for this one. I'm already recycling titles at this point, but I really like. Uh, what the guys of Bakuman did, and that made them one of my favorite um, authors. I read a new Death Note, but I wasn't as thrilled uh, by Death Note as I was by Bakuman, so uh, I have to recommend it. Category number 42, I'm recycling categories again. A manga that was recommended, and that's The Promised Neverland. Again, uh, was recommended by actually Fernando of Niji TV, the guy who set the challenge up. And very good recommendation. I can only repeat what I said previously. I highly recommend the Never, the Promised Neverland to anyone who uh, likes action manga. Not just action, but also uh, plotting and plot twists and uh, challenges. So, so yeah, it's it's really good strategy, strategy, strategy manga. Um, Category number 43, a manga of a, gen of a genre that you rarely read. So I picked 10 count for uh, this one. A uh, manga of an author that you don't know, I picked 10 count for this one as well. Uh, uh, category number 45, a manga that is a compilation of histories. I couldn't find one. Uh, Fernando says that they are out there. I just haven't found them. I mostly read on, uh, on ebooks and on the internet. I have some mangas, but I only buy them once I already have probably finished the whole story or really like the storyline. That's the only time that I buy it. And I've never seen a single manga that's like a compilation of different stories. So I, I have to pass this category. Category number 46, a manga that has hardcover. Uh, I do have one, which is Villain Saga, and I can highly recommend it. Villain Saga was one of the uh, mangas that, First, each issue is released like once a month, once every two months. It's very long waiting period for a new uh, uh, issue to come out. But it's really good and uh, I, I read it all when, uh, when I found it and then I was anxiously waiting for the next one. And eventually I ordered the, the physical uh, omnibus editions of Inland Saga and they are in hardcover. So I have them. Uh, I believe, I believe it's like nine volumes, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, anyways, category number 47. A manga that was released in 2018. We already talked about it. I picked Black Torch. Sorry, I'm recycling some uh, uh, things because 
too many weeks in a year and I don't have time to read manga in all of them. So I ended up recycling a few of the weeks and a few of the categories. Category number 48, a manga. Um, so read the manga and watch the anime of the same thing. The Promised Neverland, again, I watched the anime today, the first issue uh, that was released today. So I have to recommend it very much. Uh, uh, a mang mangua or man manchua, or whatever it's called, something that is manga but from China or South Korea, not Japan. And for that one, I picked Breaker. I already read through the whole Breaker and Breaker New Waves. So um, I already seen it all, but I reread a little bit of it in 2018. So uh, this is a pick. It's my favorite manhwa. I don't know that many manhwas, but uh, this is my favorite one so far. It's a martial arts kind of thing. And uh, the typical cliche of manga that you have an underdog kid with a lot of potential that keeps rising up to the challenge and unlocking the next level shit. Then an even worse boss comes along and... The whole history repeats itself, but it's uh, quite interesting characters and very well developed and an interesting world. So I have to recommend it. Uh, category number 50, a uh, series that I want to finish. I picked Monster for this one. I'm still trying to finish it. I haven't finished it completely, but I really want to. Uh, it's one of my main uh, drives on uh, reading manga, but it's so many issues that it's, it's still taking me a little bit, a little while. Um, I'm not sure if it's still ongoing or if it's completely finished. I think it's completely finished, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, anyways, category number 51, uh, manga based out of a light novel. There are several of them. I remember Sword Art Online is a very famous one. Uh, I didn't want to pick it because I think I already picked it before for other categories on other videos of, of a manga. So I ended up looking for a new one and I found Overlord which is somehow similar to the base of Sword Art Online, as in you are in an MMO, and then when the MMO... Um, and then the MMO becomes the real world, you can't escape it. Uh, so that's the same storyline. Um, but I didn't really like Overlord that much, actually, to tell you the truth. I, I read three chapters, and I was like, eh. So probably I won't keep following it, but I don't know, if you like MMOs and action and that kind of stuff, you might like this manga. I don't know. Um, anyways, category number 52. Read uh, um, a comic that is not in manga style, so a graphic novel of some sort. And I picked a Portuguese one that I just finished recently. It's called Living Will. It's seven issues uh, long. Each one is very small, only 16 pages. But I really liked the, 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 the story and the drawings. I was positively surprised that people do uh, acceptable comics in Portugal, made in Portugal. Um, it's written in English, though. So it's aimed at the international audience. So uh, go check it out. You can try... Ordering it, Living Will. Um, what else? Uh, there are a few couple of bonus categories that uh, Fernando included. Category Bonus category number one is to read three mangas from the same author. This one was relatively easy. I picked uh, Takeshi Obata, which is the designer for Bakuman, Death Note, and All You Need Is Kill. We got All You Need Is Kill uh, quite recently. It was like a Christmas gift for Christina, I believe. It wasn't Christmas gift. It was a. Uh, I offered it to her for her birthday, so about June. So we have it for a long time in the library. I haven't had time to pick it up yet, and I just bought it because it was on her wish list. I haven't heard. I haven't heard of it before, but I now I know that it's from the same authors from uh, of uh, Bakuman and Death Note. So I'm curious. See how it turns out. Bonus question number two, or bonus category number two. Read our favorite manga. I have so many, it's impossible to answer this one properly. I offer you a cat instead. That was the bonus moment of the video. And uh, bonus category number three is read the manga in Japanese. I can't speak Japanese, so I'm out of that one. So that was that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry that I'm speed talking because I don't want the video to be like 22 minutes long. Hope you guys took 
some uh, interesting insights out of manga from the video. If there is anything you like, if there is anything you would like to comment, please put them on the comments below. I would love to hear your comments. I get so little comments. I wish I had more comments. Oh, please, won't you commentate? If you can't commentate, at least put a like and subscribe. All that jazz. You know how it goes. Don't forget to donate your kidneys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Take care.